Hello everybody, Galen Gilmore here, and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program Realism Overhaul video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Araby sounding rocket, or the Arobi, I couldn't figure out the exact pronunciation. But this was a sounding rocket uh, which was first launched in 1948 and was the first American-made rocket to pass the Kármán line. As you can see in this picture, this is an actual picture of a real Araby rocket. And I tried to recreate it in Kerbal Space Program as best as I could, although obviously it doesn't look perfect. Um, and there were also multiple variants of the Araby. Uh, the specific one that I recreated was d based on the Araby 150 rocket. The Araby has one solid motor on the bottom and a liquid fueled engine on the second stage. The liquid engine was subject to something called ullage which basically means that when I fire the engine, I'm going to have to fire it while the first stage engine is still firing, a concept known as hot staging, which you will see just now. As you can see, that transition to liquid fuel happens extremely quickly. This is to prevent the craft from having a negative acceleration, which would have forced all of the liquid fuel towards the top of the tank. By igniting the engine as the craft was still undergoing acceleration, it planted all of that liquid fuel towards the bottom of the tank where the engine is, and with all the fuel on the bottom of the tank, it allows the engine to fire and not suck up any fuel vapors. So just for some extra information while we're waiting for our spacecraft to uh, go up and come back down again, the Americans actually originally used old German B-2 rockets from World War II to do all of their neat experiments in space. But eventually they started running out of V-2 rockets because obviously the V-2 rockets were built by Germany and they only built a certain number of them and the Americans could only build so many of them. And so eventually they created the Araby, their own solution to running out of German V-2s. So just a little bit of a trivia there. So as you've probably deduced by now, the Araby is starting to re-enter the atmosphere considering you're seeing a bunch of uh, big explosions going on. Uh, in real life, the Araby actually would have had parachutes in order to recover all the telemetry, temperature, pressure, whatever kind of experiments they're running. Um, but in the game, there's a little bit of a limitation. I don't have uh, any parachutes small enough to fit on this thing. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and dunk back into the ocean. <laughs> 